Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. There is so much zombie news going on right now, and there is undoubtedly more zombie stuff coming out at the time of this video's release, so stay on that. But I wanted to talk about a couple things, at least the things that I am aware about currently. The first thing is the Salvation DLC leak. In the PlayStation 4 store, you can go, I'm not sure if you can, but somebody went and saw this image or an image of the Salvation DLC image and it has our four zombies characters on it. This could be for a couple reasons. First reason, this is the end of our original four characters storyline. This is going to put brackets around the entire zombie storyline from World at War all the way up until now and it's going to come to a conclusion. And of course, showing off the four characters in this image kind of demonstrates, hey, there's something going on with zombies right now that this is the wrap up, this is the final thing ever. But a lot of people have speculated, and it seems very real to me, that they're focusing on zombies so much that they might do a Resurrection 2.0. Now that, to me, is always been wishful thinking. I do not expect that whatsoever, but the huge focus on salvation just salvation in the freaking name. we know it's salvation because we've had some other teasers and it says salvation dlc only available for uh, you know xbox one and playstation 4 but the the name salvation richtofen and the giant says i alone can lead us to our salvation that is huge he alone brought us to Dor Eisendrak. He alone brought us to uh, Zetsubo Noshima and Gorod Krovi. I guess Max has helped too, I guess, if we're being strictly technical here. But he was leading us to get these gate worms, to get these souls, and now we are at our salvation here in the DLC 4. This is so epic! And so I do want to briefly talk about the possibility of four maps coming back from older Call of Duties, which in and of itself is really cool because old zombie maps with like three hit kill downs and maybe even gobble gun machines is so appealing to me. I would buy extra a standalone game if they did that for every single zombies map. That would be so awesome. But if we're going to assume there are four Zombies maps, like in the old Resurrection DLC, four Zombies maps to bring back, what would they be? I would feel they would have to be somewhat story-oriented, just so that we get this complete package. So because of that, I feel like Mob of the Dead, just because thematically it's just so heavily influenced all of Black Ops 3 as well as Origins because in Black Ops 2 Origins that's where all of this sort of began with our 2.0 characters. Now as far as the other two maps that they could bring back, maybe Moon, perhaps maybe Moon because that is where Rick Toffin switched with Samantha in the MPD and that's where he gained control and that's where the events of Transit, Die, Rise, and Buried took place. Maybe Buried because that's where we put, we picked a side in either Maxis one or Rick Toffin run. Uh, and, and controlled the ether and everything and that could be what happened but uh, other than that you know i don't really feel like shangri-la or call of the dead or die or darice you know i don't feel like there's any other map that's just so heavily story based other than those four uh, buried moon origins and mob of the dead that they could bring that that would be very meaningful to the storyline in any way but that's just the bonus stuff i could go on and on and on about what maps i want to see return and play and come back to and all that sort of stuff i do kind of miss the transit true crew because i feel like they're very um i don't know beaten down upon like die rise was one of my first ever zombie maps and uh, transit was too i know that's a horrible thing to say but moving on towards salvation the dlc revelations what are we getting we are getting some teasers some trailers of dr monty noah j got a freaking personalized message talking about he's someone he knew uh, way long ago named Noah and a lot of people are speculating it sounds like he's talking about like Noah as in Noah's Ark because he asks by the way are you a good swimmer talking about maybe a great flood that could connect to Noah that would be so cool that would show uh, Dr. Monty's om omnipotence which is just so cool but we also get a teaser image of the premise characters and it looks like they might be in something that could be underwater, perhaps buried underwater or over flooded with water. And there's also another image, I think from Mr. Dalek JD, 
that it looks like an up close image of an origin staff now i'm not sure i've i've not played origins yet because i don't have the dlc because i didn't like black ops 2 multiplayer but anyway besides that it might be an origin staff but it really feels that this is going to be a heavily premise character and this entire dlc is going to be the wrap-up of everything this is going to be the great battle of the ancients and the apothecans and maybe the keepers and our original four are going to come back as premise characters and they're going to fix everything they're going to put the universe back together they're going to take away the shattered glass and make it one big mirror you know and all that sort of good stuff and this is where premise is going to fail and the formless one is going to be their downfall and this is going to be so cool who is the formless one i i I still think I put my bets on the Shadow Man because the Shadow Man is still in that summoning key and he is, I think, something has to do with the apothecans i think he's gonna screw us over in some way i'm not entirely sure but i am just ever so freaking excited for this dlc for zombies and if you are not in the zombie storyline please do your research catch up because this is epic this is the great battle this is the house this is the salvation of our characters everything has been building up to this this is so hype right now and i am so excited so that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful zombies morning i will catch up with you guys later and as always stay beautiful